Max Park just broke the 4x4 world record with a single of 16.79 seconds. And if you've seen my previous videos, you know that I also broke down his 5x5 world record single. So obviously I'm reconstructing this one too. So he does Yao and his first center is gonna be white. He has this bar right here and his remaining pieces are here and here. He also wants to look ahead into these two pieces for the yellow center and the bar is here. So he paired them up very simply. He could insert with an R2 but he did an R first and then the U prime to align these two to be paired up when he inserts this center. And now he'll just insert this final yellow center and moves on to cross edges. Luckily he had this cross edge already solved but he did not notice that. He did an R because he, can, he cannot find pieces and then he solved this uh, blue white cross edge right here. And now he went for the white orange because he just spotted that. And now he will go for the, wet, or the white red just like this. So now he will uh, move on to centers and he chose red. I do not know why, but basically what he's doing here is he's bringing all these pieces together and he's moved this piece down so you can just solve them together like this. And then he does a wide 3R, which is very useful in Yao solves because you want to keep this place open so that you can do U, uh, U moves for center parry, which is exactly what he did. Now he just solved these two very nicely. And what I've noticed in Max's solve is that he just leaves this open because now he does, he does not do the slice because he now has to do this cross edge right here, which he pairs up like this and he inserts it together. And now we have this corner and this edge. So he inserts this as his first pair. Sometimes you see that in Yao solves. And now we have edge pairing. And this I think is where the magic happens. It's just so lucky because when he does a wide D I mean, a D. He has this and this all solved. But what's more, he can solve the yellow blue by doing this because it has to slice back. And also, he wrote, he uh, rotates here and he noticed that this is going to be here. So he inserts this red green piece as well. So when he slices back, he has these two. And he has three left, which is the most, uh, like, the luckiest case you can get. Also, he has this free pair, and when he inserts, you can just slice without do without doing any sledgehammer or any variant. You can just insert this and then slice back. All his edges are solved. He has this pair. Like, what? But he panics, obviously, because, like, if you have such a great edge pairing, then you're obviously going to panic. And he inserts this piece into the back with some hesitations. But now, now I think is basically the golden moment of the solve because what he does is he basically does a multi-slotting for these two by a, a misaligning the D layer and then solving these two as a pair and solving these two as a pair at the same time that is just so good like I've always pictured Max as uh no offense Max but you're you're generally very good but I've always pictured him as just having a very like great TPS and not that good solutions like Teemons, but I think this F2O solution is truly amazing. Also, when he back sledge into the back, I think that is really good because of avoiding him in the dog case, and it's also very move efficient. So he just does all L and then uh, PLL parity, and then JA perm. Boom, he is done. World record time. Boom, baby. Okay, thank you for watching. If, you, if you've never done this, big cube reconstructions require a lot of trial and error. I recorded this video so many, so many times. So uh, you can just go through this video and then reconstruct it yourself. And yeah, thanks for watching. Leave a like for the effort.